Welcome to the Play Resource Inspiration Channel. Today we are going to do four different paint techniques. The first technique is foam painting. And for this we will need, from Play Resource Shop, paint and masking tape. From the scrap store, plastic and newsprint. And from your local shop, good quality shaving foam and paper towel. The first thing we're going to do is to put some newsprint onto the table. On top of that, we put some plastic and tape it down with masking tape. On top of that, I'm going to squirt out some shaving soap and then I'm going to squirt a little paint over the top of it before we mix it up. And at this stage, this is a very three-dimensional process. So the next thing is to start to press it down. This is followed by a smoothing down process. It's a good idea to do this with the children because sometimes children do not like getting their hands too messy. And to see the colour is changing. And this is very therapeutic for the children to do and for indeed for adults to do as well. And once they've done this for a wee while, we can start drawing this where the finger painting comes in. Take the paper out from underneath. And this gives you a monoprint. The monoprint takes off all the excess soapy paint and of course it's easy then to wash off under a tap the plastic sheet and the hands. The second technique is PVA and paint. From the Play Resource Warehouse you will need PVA, paint, glitter, brush and sand. From the scrap store, confetti, shredded paper, plastic tubs. From the local shop, shredded net bags, tea bags, rice and lentils and a spoon. First thing I'm going to do is to mix paint and PVA together in a tub. Now the mixture for this is roughly five parts paint and one part glue. So then I'm going to mix this up. The kids can do this. And then I'm going to paint this mixture onto each square on this card. We've got a nice layer of paint on there. And sprinkle a variety of materials on each square. I'm going to sprinkle the first material. This is uh, confetti. I'm just sprinkle a little piece on. This is a good one for recycling vegetable nets. With, from, this, is, this is from orange, like confetti. And then we can sprinkle this on the top. And now we've got some red. This is from the Play Resource Warehouse. The next one is glitter to shine on top. Don't need too much. This is a tea bag. And this is really nice sprinkled on the top. So you can use any household pulses, split peas, rice, pasta, crushed pasta, hundreds of thousands, coloured sand. This is yellow. Oh. It up. And this will give a really fantastic texture, especially when this paint dries, the children can go back and feel some of these things and try and, and even with their eyes shut, they can guess what each one is just by touching. This helps their lateral thinking by using different materials out of context for artwork. This third technique is about making patterns with paint. For this you will need from Play Resource Shop zigzag scissors, glue spreader, lollipop stick and paint. From the scrap store card, from the local shop combs. I have a sheet of card here in front of me. I'm going to pour on some paint onto the surface. You can choose which colour you like, put nice big swirls of paint on the page. And the first thing you can do is to take a glue spreader here and just cut through all the swirls of paint and you can get some fantastic patterns. Just And here we have the, a comb, an old comb will do. And this gives you more spikes at once. And this develops their fine motor skills and control of their arm movements. Sticks would have the same sort of effect as well. So you can just cut and you can squiggle through. 
Another thing you can do instead of a comb is to have some zigzag card. To make this, you just need a piece of card from the play warehouse and just cut, cut the card and you can cut this into the card as well. And this makes a lovely noise as well. And you can start building up all sorts of sweeping movements, repeat movements, and this builds up language as well, all these different ways of making marks. If you want to introduce another colour to this, I'm going to use yellow. These are two primary colours. Blue and yellow are two of the three primary colours. And you can add another colour on the top. So you can start again with a glue spreader. And when you cut into the lines, you can see some different lines underneath. It's good for the children to observe this as they're doing it. And then they can start to think about colours mixing on the page. So you get green from blue and yellow. So they're learning about how colours work together and mix. This is the fourth activity and it is sponge printing. For this you will need from the Play Resource shop paint and from the scrap store sponge and card. What we're going to do is place the card on the table and we're going to squirt some paint onto a sponge and then we're going to make repeat patterns from it. The first one is always a bit splodgy and you just keep printing and going along until the paint runs out. So at the end of it, the children can see how the paints become very vibrant at the beginning and go all the way along. It's getting fainter and fainter and fainter till it practically disappears. This is a print that I made earlier and I've allowed this to dry. So to superimpose something else on this as contrast, I'm going to take purple this time and just put a little splodge on it. I'm going to print again on each piece. It's very important when you're showing the children how to do this that they place the sponge on carefully, give it a good press and then lift it off. And they can turn it round as well as another option. Press and lift. And this gets them used to printing and not smudging it on the page because paint can be very slippy and children can slide it around and then it spoils the whole effect. All the essential items used here today are available at Play Resource.